it classification by classification. We'll talk about the favorites in 5A, the Giants in AA, and many more. Hard-hitting highlights, interviews, top 20 rankings. It's our final preseason show, and it's next on Hooton's Arkansas Football. You stuck it to him and you won it! This is our time of the year. Hello and welcome to Hooton's Arkansas Football, our final preseason show of 2002. I cannot wait until Monday when we kick the season off here at War Memorial Stadium in the Altel Hootons.com kickoff classic. Check out the lineup at 11 o'clock on Monday morning. Benton will play Pulaski Academy. These are real games now, not scrimmages. They're full-fledged games that count toward the team's final records. All the other teams in the state will be playing on Friday night, but these six great ones will play on Monday. The second game should be very exciting. Lots of points, lots of passes. Shiloh Christian against Bryant. And then in the final game, I think if there were an overall state championship in high school football, there's a good chance that the Warren Lumberjacks and Springdale Bulldogs would play for it this year. So it should be a great day on Monday as we officially kick off the 2002 season. We'll talk about those teams and the event a little bit more in the show. And we will talk about teams from all over Arkansas, classification by classification, as we gear up for the 2002 season. And we'll start with a preview of Class 2A. And we will begin our last preseason look at Double A at Part 3, where the Indians open the season number 12 and are counting on senior quarterback Sugar Ray Jones to direct the multiple eye attack at Part 3. Jones will frequently hand off to All-State tailback Anquan Williams. Williams rushed for close to 2,000 yards last year. While Mark Tree has lost just one conference game in three seasons, it is newcomer Hughes dropping down from AAA, that is the 3AA conference favorite. The Blue Devils enter the season ranked number nine in the state and boast senior running back Andre Walker. If Hughes or Mark Tree should falter, Palestine Wheatley, which opens the season at number 28, has an impressive back of its own senior Brandon Roberts. Over at Palestine Wheatley last year, Roberts ran for 700 yards. Senior Kenny Logan returns at nose guard where he collected more than 50 tackles last year for the Patriots. In the 5AA conference, Boxsite is the coach's pick to repeat as conference champs. The Miners will call on a pair of senior halfbacks to carry the ball in coach John Watson's severe attack. Jacob Pettis and B.J. Ward will run behind veteran guard Chad Ferguson. Jesseville and Mountain Pine are two teams that could knock Boxite off the 5AA throne. Junior Blake Ellison averaged seven yards per carry last year for Jesseville, which has earned three straight playoff spots. Mountain Pine opens the season at number 25 in our poll. The Red Devils will look to quarterback Tony Sales and all-conference receiver Josh Bailey to deliver big plays at Mountain Pine. Cutter Morningstar is not expected to make the playoffs, but its numbers are up, and its optimistic coach, Gary Jackson, says his Eagles could surprise. Hey, we're tripping over kids. We've got 29 kids uh, for the first time in the preseason. We're going to get to scrimmage against ourselves. Uh, that's exciting, not having to go against phantom players out there and throw against people like that. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun this year. And here is a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 2A rankings. Harding Academy is our preseason number one. The Wildcats open against Bald Knob next Friday night in Searcy. Junction City's number two, then it's Augusta and Ryzen. Of course, Ryzen will open the season against rival Fordyce. And the game's in Ryzen this year. Charleston's number five, then it's Barton, Hampton, Danville, Hughes, and the Go Devils at number 10. Carlisle's 11, then it's Mark's Tree, Mineral Springs, Hazen, and the Rattlers at 15. The Buckaroos are 16, followed by Jesseville, Desert, Salem, and the Boxite Miners at number 20. Coming up next, more of Hooton's Arkansas football. A preview of Class 3A is next. Football, brought to you by Sonic. 
And we begin our Class 3A preview with defending state champ Warren. The Lumberjacks were the only team in Arkansas to go undefeated last year and starters return at 16 positions at Warren. The Lumberjacks will open their season on Monday against Class 5A power Springdale. We're not really expected to win this game. They're number one 5A, we're 3A. Uh, I believe we do have a chance, but if we lose this, I mean, we weren't, it's not a big, big letdown. I don't think we're going to lose them. Shallow Christian has played in an amazing five straight Class 2A state championship games. This year, the Saints will try their hand at AAA. And like Warren, we'll know a lot better how good Shallow Christian will be this year after Monday. Shiloh is also playing in the kickoff classic, taking on 5A Bryant. Another team moving up from Class 2A is Mayflower. The Eagles returned 12 starters who helped them win seven games last year. Big play receiver and defensive back Herb Grigsby has already committed to the University of Arkansas. Mayflower also has college caliber skilled players in running back Jonathan Jones and quarterback John Sampson. One of Mayflower's tougher foes in the five AAA this year will be Pulaski Oak Grove. The Hornets offense and defense revolves around Cedric Mason. CC rushed for more than 1,100 yards and racked up 100 tackles last year. Another team from the five AAA to watch is Atkins. The early conference means that we had uh, just went real good with administration and with everybody and so we feel real good about it and like you said we're a little more of the same size of those schools and and it's some, it's some schools uh, like Clinton and Darnell that we've been playing for years. And, uh, you know, since my dad coached in the 40s and 50s, we were playing those teams. The Clinton Yellow Jackets are hoping that 12 returning starters help them in a 10-year playoff drought. All-conference quarterback Brian Spence is back up at Clinton, and running back Brian Frey gives the Yellow Jackets experience on offense. If you like old-fashioned football, you like the Star City Bulldogs. Star City loves the running game, and senior quarterback Andy Eklund and running back Randy Williams usually rip off big chunks of yards for Star City. Being a uh, number two ranking preseason, that's a lot to live up. You know, usually Star City's a fifth or sixth ranked team, and uh, we get something to, to look forward to. So now we got some people shooting at us, and that's going to make it a big difference down in Bulldog Lane. It's been four years since the Queen played in the state title game, and the talent seems to be cycling back for the Leopards. Ten starters are back at D Queen, including some solid offensive linemen, but D Queen still must beat Ashdown and Nashville for the 7 AAA title. A dark horse in the 7 AAA could be the Mina Bearcats. Mina returns 13 starters, and Coach Joe Bunch will design his system to feature senior running back Quan Tron. The Brinkley Tigers were in a position to capture the 6 AAA title before losing to Dollar Away last year. Coach Van Paschal resigned in the winter, but first-year coach Scott Barnes inherits plenty of speed at Brinkley. The Warren Lumberjacks open the season at number one. Warren has the state's longest winning streak with 15 consecutive wins, but we think that will come to an end on Monday. Hooton's Arkansas football is favoring Class 5A Springdale over Warren at War Memorial Stadium on Monday. Boonville opens the season at number two. The Bearcats almost beat the Lumberjacks last year. Osceola's three, then it's the Hillbillies and Pulaski Academy. Nashville starts the second five, and the Scrappers are followed by Ashdown, Newport, Shiloh, Christian and Star City. The Sand Lizards are number 11, then it's Gosnell, Dumas, and Hamburg. Rivercrest at number 15, followed by D. Queen, Pocahontas, Truman, Farmington, and Pulaski Oak Grove at number 20. Now, the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Cabot defensive end Nick Gleason helped the Panthers shut out four conference opponents last season while maintaining a 3.83 GPA. Obviously, success on the football field is important in Cabot, but Nick says he attacks his textbooks with as much enthusiasm as he does his playbooks. Commitment, it's really hard to like, stay focused on it, but I have to, and then doing that on football, it helps me with school and everything else to get things done. Congrats to Nick Gleason, the Marine Scholar Athlete of the Week. Faulkner County football fans, the biggest game of the year is set for the second week of the season when rival neighbors Greenbrier and Bologna battled for the first Service Bank Judges' Cup. A year ago, Bologna claimed the cup with a 21-13 victory. But this year, the Panthers want revenge and to take the cup back to the Briar Patch. 
It's the biggest game of the year in Faulkner County. Greenbrier at Bologna. The second week of the season, the Judges' Cup is presented by First... Everyone loves a Cinderella story, and the Magnolia Panthers could wear the glass slipper in Class 4A this year. Versatile quarterback Jeremy Hambryce has captured the attention from college recruiters with his running and passing. Throw in a stout defense that features hard-hitting linebackers and a lightning-quick secondary, and that could push the Panthers to the top of the 4A Southwest. Another exciting team to watch this season should be the talented Mills Comets. Running back Farad Jackson and lineman Marcus Harrison have both been offered scholarships from the University of Arkansas. Be able to spread the field out since we switched offense to one back, so it should be fun. Hopefully we'll get a lot of points scored. And it, it's gonna come down to injuries. I think there's about 10 teams that can win it, and I think we're one of them. Injuries derailed the Hot Springs Lakeside Rams last year when five tailbacks suffered season-ending injuries. But that experience should make the offense deep and strong this season at Lakeside. The Monticello Billies won 10 games and captured their second 4A Southeast title a year ago, but four players from that team signed college scholarships in the spring, and the chance of a third straight 4A Southeast title rest on some unproven skilled players. Wynn has dominated the 4A East the past decade, but the Batesville Pioneers may be poised to make a serious push at the conference title. We're going to have a very a big offensive line. Uh, Josh Gamble's our center. He's about 350. Ben Dobbs about 310 and Bruce Kelly, our strong tackle, is about 290. Batesville will open conference play in four weeks against conference newcomer Bologna. Bologna changed coaches and offenses in the offseason as former Gosnell coach Jim Stanley installed his running attack. Senior quarterback receiver Michael Cummings should thrive in the new system at Bologna. Of course, one of Bologna's biggest games every year is against Greenbrier. And the Panthers also welcomed a new coach in the offseason. First-year coach Scott Schwartz will emphasize the running attack at Greenbrier, especially since the Panthers averaged just seven points per game last year. Morlton was expected to be one of the better teams in 4A last year and looked good, beating eventual 5A West champion Russell in the season opener. But Morlton lost three conference games by a total of nine points and failed to make the playoffs. Expectations aren't nearly as high at Marlton this year with fresh faces at most positions. And here is a look at Hooton's Arkansas Football Class 4A preseason rankings. Stuttgart opens the season at number one. The Ricebergs are looking for their first state title since 1982. Greenwood won it all a couple of years ago. And we think the Bulldogs can make it back to the rock this year. Magnolia is not the coach's pick to win the Southwest but the Hootons think the Panthers could win that league, and they open the season at number three. Then it's Little Rock Mills and Robinson, Pulaski Robinson with 17 starters back. Wynn is at number six, and the Yellow Jackets are followed by the Airedales, the Bobcats, the Pioneers, and Sylvan Hills at number 10. The Golden Goblins start the second 10, and they're followed by Crossett, the Billies, the Devil Dogs, and Clarksville. Then it's West Helena, the Badgers, Green County Tech, the Trojans, and Little Rock Fair at number 20. Now, the Arkansas Department of Higher Education Spirit Student of the Week. Blair Butler is a busy high school senior. When she's not cheering or playing in the band during the halftime, she's hitting the books and keeping her grades near the top of her class. Well, I used herself sometimes. <laughs> but Blair doesn't get stressed out about Friday nights. When the Moralton football team is playing, Blair leads the way cheerleading and showing her support of the dogs. I just like to be there for them and say, you know, it's okay, or if you, you they made it, just to be happy for them and scream and yell. <laughs> but her passion doesn't leave the field as Blair takes the same approach in the classroom. I think she is an excellent student. She's very sweet, she's very determined. From daylight to dawn, Blair's organizational skills really come in handy as she balances a full load of activities with her academics. I like to do a bunch of different things. I don't stay in one thing very long. <laughs> Blair's parents are a big influence as they expect good grades above all else. My parents have always expected it through the years. Especially her dad, as Blair plans on following in his footsteps after graduation. My whole life I wanted to be involved in accounting, like my dad. <laughs> on behalf of the State Department of Higher Education, congratulations to our Spirit Scholars. And to all students, keep that grade point up. We've got some scholarships waiting on you. ...of Hooton's Arkansas football. 
Brought to you by First Security Bank. In Class 5A, the West Coppers could dominate again this year. Springdale is Hooten's preseason number one, and we'll see if the Bulldogs are worthy of the top spot on Monday afternoon when Coach Gus Malzahn takes on high-powered Warren in the Alltel Hooten's.com kickoff classic. It's an honor for Springdale High School to be in the kickoff classic, and uh, playing Warren is going to be a, a big challenge. Uh, War Memorial Stadium on their field turf is going to be a lot of fun. Our kids are looking forward to it. You know, I think our whole city is, so we're excited to be in it. Fort Smith Southside is another state title contender from the West. Rebel quarterback John Thomas started four games as a sophomore last season, including three postseason games. The sophomore shredded Conway, passing for 223 yards and two touchdowns. Russell Bull may have the state's top quarterback, though. Senior Landon Leach leads seven returning offensive starters, and Russell Bull is the coach's pick to win the West. <laughs> yeah, that, that's good and bad. Uh, the since I've been in this league, uh, I'm not sure if anybody's been picked to win and has won it. So, uh, you know, that puts a big bullseye on your chest. We've got seven really good ones on offense, and we think we've got some kids that will replace some of the ones we lost, and uh, you know, we, we're going to be pretty good on offense. Russell was knocked out of the playoffs last year by El Dorado. They never seemed to run out of talent down in Union County. El Dorado had seven players sign college scholarships after last season. Benton beat El Dorado last year and went on to its finest season in almost a decade. Saline County fans have grown a little bit weary of Benton's run-oriented offense in the past, but the Panthers are expected to throw the ball more this fall with returning starter Brian Greer at quarterback. Defense, we got to play good defense, and our offense just has to score enough to win. I think we can win with our defense. Cersei moves up to Class 5A this fall after making the playoffs five times in the past six years as a member of Class 4A. But the Lions shouldn't stumble in the not-so-rugged 5A East Conference, especially with Sonic Super Team running back Earl Young and junior fullback Weston Dacus returning to give Cersei one of the top backfields in the state. Coaches say Cabot should win the East again. The Panthers will depend on running backs Chris Robertson and Adam Baker to lead their team attack. West Memphis is the team the Hootons are hot on out of the East Conference. Many are puzzled by that, but we'll see what Coach Lenny Dowse can do in his second season with the big and talented bunch over at West Memphis. Bryant is another team to watch, and that's exactly what the state will do Monday afternoon when the Hornets tangle with tradition-rich Shiloh Christian. Shiloh could be Bryant's toughest opponent of the year as the Hornets move this fall to the week 5A Central Conference. Springdale will open the season at number one when the Bulldogs play Warren on Monday in Little Rock at War Memorial Stadium. But the Bulldogs have suffered a couple of key injuries in the preseason and will not be at 100%. West Memphis opens the year at number two. They're Southside, Texarkana, and Russellville. El Dorado six, followed by Cabot, Bryant, Conway, and the Grizzlies at number 10. Fayetteville as a team to watch at number 11. Then it's Searcy, the Zebras, the Mountaineers, and Jacksonville. Little Rock McClellan is 16, followed by last year's state champion Bentonville. Then it's the Pointers, Little Rock Central, and Benton at number 20. Now the sports medicine tip of the week from Martin Bowen Hep. Thanks again for watching Hootons Arkansas football this week, and we look forward to seeing you again next Saturday. And for 15 weeks, all the way through the playoffs, we will be here on Saturdays talking high school football, looking at the highlights, showing you the latest Hootons rankings, and we hope you can tune in every week from now until mid-December. And if you haven't already made plans for Labor Day, we invite you out for the best day of high school football this season. It's the Alltel Hootons.com kickoff classic. Real games, real exciting. Some of the best teams in the state squaring off to kick off the season on Labor Day this Monday here at War Memorial Stadium. The matchups, Benton against Pulaski Academy at 11 a.m. Then it's Bryant and Shiloh. That should be a thriller. And in the final game, two number one teams, Warren, number one from Class 3A, and Springdale, our number one team in 5A. They will meet around 4 o'clock on Labor Day Monday here at War Memorial Stadium. We hope to see you out here, and we hope to see you again next Saturday here on Hooton's Arkansas Football.
our time of the year. Football fans, your wait is over. The 2002 high school season kicks off in grand fashion on Labor Day at War Memorial Stadium in the alltellhoopies.com kickoff classic. Catch the triple header with past happy Pulaski Academy taking on Big Bad Benton. Then tradition rich Shadow Christian steps up against Bryant. And defending state champ Warren takes on 5A superpower Springdale. Get your tickets at participating schools. The first three real games of the season. It's the alltellhoopies.com kickoff classic. Labor Day at War Memorial Stadium.